listens to the Baron's speech, and he he's petting Lycoa, but they're over by the water. And he's standing there, and he gets a wave of anger. And he says, "When is this enough? When do we stop? We fought for years, raising an army, losing champions along the way." Death upon death has followed us. We made deals with dragons and, and powerful beings to come and aid us. You have gods that you worship and ask for help. And even though one came, it wasn't enough. We couldn't fight Ghazi with the help of a god. You asked for help. We all asked for help. And nothing. Nothing was enough. He laughed at us. He rolled us over and taunted us and said that we need another, another crystal. It took us years to get one. And now we need another. For what? Is he a demon? We, we killed the demon. We did what our purpose was. When does it end? And then to find out it wasn't even him that wiped the floor with us. What happens when we meet him? An army? Gods? Nothing. Nothing helped. And then you made him stronger. You should have let me die. I don't think it was worth it. Going on now living that we... We couldn't even stop him. And if we couldn't, who can? Who can? The struggle makes us stronger. If we do not endure, the price that the world will pay is far greater than the, than the pain that you feel now. But what has the world done for me? I'll, I'll take my bandana off the and world, my little ears will pop the out. World, <laughs> the world owes you nothing. And I owe the world nothing. That I almost not gave them my life today. You get to be part of it. Part of what? Beyond. Look at the death. Beyond. Beyond. Look beyond. Beyond. There is much more. I look beyond. And I owe someone revenge. And I do not see that here anymore. I thought bringing good to this world would put me at ease and, and guide me along the way and get the help that I needed. And instead, it created a new family for me. One that I never thought I would have. And I watched as they all fell, you all fell and there was nothing I could do. I couldn't avenge my love. I couldn't protect any of you. Some of you sacrificed yourself for me. I am not worthy of that. I am not worthy of the end of the world, and neither are we. None of us are. No one is. No, but somebody has to stand. Where was the army? Where were our allies, Borinth? Where, where was, where was Jumnus and, and Morton and, and Galela? Where were they? Where, where were Draco Prasini and, and Draconis? All these allies that we made along the way, for what? For what? And you think if we, we try again, we'd do better? Yes, I, because we have to. I there is always hope. I do not share your faith. We must endure. I have seen Keep Kalen. I have seen him laugh. I have seen him smile. Amidst all of the horrors and the struggle, I have seen this. Imagine how great it can be when we have put all of this past us. There is no guarantee in death. But the 
only thing we can guarantee is that we can continue onward and continue the fight. We must be beacons of hope. If not, we sacrifice much more than ourselves. And, uh, Kip will take a rock and skip it along the river. Just say. What the, ri- the ripples that, that makes. See, as the rocks skip, there are rings that extend outward. Everything those rings touch changes. And yet the rock still sinks. We may sink, but everything will be touched by what we do now. And the good that we do will expand out forever. If we allow ourselves to stink with to sink without a struggle, then all will be still. He will sit down on the bank and just shake his head. You do not have to be <laughs> happy about it. <laughs> that is not what I'm saying. We must take our bruises and our lumps, and we must let them make us stronger. 